I'm a clinician and I'm also a translational researcher, so I'm always looking for some pathophysiology from the disease tissues, particularly for these tissues. Cancer genomics. Other in cancer research, it's uh, the, the immunology, cancer oncology is uh, one of the most important field. As a platform provider, we started off with uh, bulk RNA and single cell RNA seq platforms, and then quite naturally extended this to spatial and spatial omics technologies as well. In situ technology can provide another dimension, the space information, then it can provide another opportunity to integrate the spatial omics with the imaging. So we decided to do uh, in situ spatial omics because uh, a lot of these cell types that we found, they are very interesting. We know which cells are there, but we have no idea what they are doing in the original architecture of the tumor itself, and we don't know how the cells are interacting with one another. So in C2 technology like Xenium, we really provide us you know, opportunity to look at the cells in a native context, and I think that's something that will be relevant not just for research, but also future clinical settings. really defining your research question, really trying to understand what is it you want to answer, to really make the distinction between is it an open unbiased approach where you have an open-ended question or is it a very specific um, biological question or hypothesis you want to uh, validate. If they had already known a lot of their systems from single cell or from you know, previous published studies, um, you know, something like Xenium would be perfect because you know, right now Xenium is all able to offer something like 500 and the plaques is going to get uh, you know, even higher. 